Hello guys, uh, welcome back. And it has been a long due uh, to run the code, to run the application code from Flash instead of RAM. If you would have watched my previous uh, videos or the previous sessions, uh, all the time I always uh, load the code into the RAM through OpenOCD and GDB, then I would execute from RAM. But uh, recently, uh, I made a little progress on uh, loading the code into the flash memory and uh, boot from flash. So I didn't do this initially because there can be many things that can go wrong. If, if you don't do it in the right way, then you might even break the board. So this session is all about uh, running the LED blink code uh, from flash. So on the left side, is the boot process on the Hi-Fi Revision 1B board when I bought as a new board. And on the right side is the current status of the boot process in my board. Excuse me. So there's a, a difference between these two and I will explain why and all that soon. So this is uh, when you buy a a brand new Hi-Fi 1 Revision B board. So right after the reset, uh, the execution will jump into ROM and then it, it would uh, um, run some code, then jump into a mapped ROM, then again jump into one-time programmable memory. Then from there, it would jump into the uh, flash memory uh, at this address, then again, it would jump into the uh, address of 2001-0000. So I have uh, represented here as one linear uh, memory, but so these are all memory maps. So this uh, this is external flash through SPI or QSPI. And uh, this is one-time programmable memory. This is, uh, again, these are all memory mapped. But uh, on the HiFi revision, uh, HiFi 1 revision B board, the boot modes is not changeable and uh, none of this is modifiable unless you make these changes in the factory. And uh, if I have discussed about this uh, boot mode pins briefly before uh, in the suggested video above. So let's, uh, since we can't change any of this, uh, these are all like, uh, you can't change anything as, you can't break this execution until it jumps into the very start of the flash memory. And when you get the new revision B board, there is some code uh, is flashed on this memory location, okay? And that is, uh, they call that as a first tap of bootloading. So there's a code here, it will do something, then it will jump into the address of uh, 2001 uh, followed by four zeros. So this you can also call as a a recovery code I will I'll, I'll see why uh, this recovery code is important okay so as a part of this uh, recent uh, exercise when I uh, was testing with my open OCD scripts to erase the flash I accidentally erased this section so this is the first sector of the flash and I erased that's why in my board now the recovery code or the code whatever that came along or they call it as a double tap a boot code or so and so on this sector i erased accidentally okay so why do they have this uh, recovery code here is so through gdb if uh, if you want to grab a debug session the board has to be uh, in a, or the code has to be at a state where the GDB session can be established. So you cannot, uh, when the execution is all the way up to here, you, you cannot, uh, even you can't keep a breakpoint at this uh, start of the flash memory right now. So what, so if you have a, a proper code, at this location, it's just perfectly fine because the execution would jump here and whatever the code here, it would execute. And if it doesn't break anything, then when this is executing, still uh, you would be able to hijack 
and get a GDP session. But the the worst case, what might have what might happen is that you accidentally uh, load a a code or load of an application which might cause an exception or get into uh, an irrecoverable or get into a fault. So in that case, uh, GDB will not be able to uh, hijack the session and you wouldn't be able to uh, recover the board if, if the spot is erased and if you have a bad code here. So that's why uh, I know this is one of the reasons that I, don't, I didn't want to try from Flash. Uh, but anyway, right now, uh, I'm able to uh, program my blue LED blink code into this location because I have already uh, de deleted this. So if I load my blink code here, since there is no code from here, the execution will not call my application. So I have to load my uh, application code right at the start of the flash. This is what I have done recently. And uh, a couple of notes or important notes. Uh, one is, uh, the OpenOCD configuration file, which I'm using here, or which I'm going to use in this uh, exercise, please, I, I'm not going to check in now, because if you use the config and run it on your board, then exactly it will uh, it will erase the sector and uh, upload the application, which I don't want to, because, uh, but since I have uh, erased this, it, it's OK on my board. That's why whatever the exercise or whatever I show here, you can just refer and build your own uh, open OCD and you have to change a few things on that to flash from here instead of from the start of the flash. Okay. So as part of this uh, flash boot exercise, I have created one more linker script. So the ROM linker script and I have also created two configuration files for OpenOCD. One is flash underscore openocd.config and the other one is the previous one. So why these two are that? So one config I want to use to load the code and run from flash and the other one is to run from RAM. And you can also have one config to cover both, but uh, for now I'm not keeping it as two separate configs so that I don't uh, accidentally uh, do anything which I which is not intended. So the start.s file, so I have created this new section called start.entry and uh, this is very important in the case of uh, flash board because if you see the linker file which is used for linking into the flash memory, so I have precisely mapped that particular section to the very start of the flash address, which is uh, hex two followed by seven zeros. So during the boot, if there is any invalid code at this point, then that can break the board. Okay, so that's that's very important. And uh, so let's see. First, I'm just gonna grab a debug session with uh, a config file, which is uh, specifically used to which I have created for the what is that uh, RAM config I would call that as for example the the one which does not have the flash driver in it okay so let's use that and see first so this would just build the or link the off into the RAM memory. So if you see here, so all the objects and symbols, they all start from the RAM memory. Okay, so eight followed by seven zeros is RAM, two followed by seven zeros is the start of the flash memory. Okay. So now let me load this. Sorry. Next. Okay. 
let's connect the TV server and load just to show you that this code will run from the RAM memory. I can just see the RAM. Let's see. Let's see here. So right now the execution would start from the start of the RAM. So I can just do a continue here. And you see that will be the blue LED that is blinking there. So that's the LED blink code. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of this control C. And you can see the let's stop blinking and now since it is from ram even if i reset it won't there won't be anything on the flash and uh, and right after the reset the code uh, everything is gone from the ram so let's see to program that into the flash and see how it works after the reset so So why the config varies between uh, grabbing a debug session between uh, the, the code which uh, loads into RAM and into the flash is that because for to load anything into the flash, we need the flash driver. So this line in the OpenOCD config would uh, tell OpenOCD to use this driver when uh, to load the code, okay? So in OpenOCD, there are two stages. Uh, one is the uh, configuration stage, and the other one is the run stage. So in the configuration, we have to tell the, the uh, on-chip debugger to use this particular driver, okay? And as I mentioned before, I have this warning at the very start that you are not supposed to load the code from 2400 bit seven zeros, or instead the right on the correct on the new board, you are supposed to load from 2001. Whereas this is that's why I have put this warning and uh, in the checked in code this would be there would be an exit so right away after showing the warning it would uh, exit whoever wants to run from this address can use it or they can have to modify if they want to load it from 2001 followed by four zeros which is the right address for the uh, new board okay so now we have to rebuild old yellows and I have also modified the build script to take in one more parameter like 551 location B board name app name and ROM so default would be RAM so at the moment I queue ROM then the yellow if you see the yellow now you can see that all the symbols and uh, data are mapped into the RAM memory and okay so this is what exactly we do not want because we want the start section to be at the start of this so what we do is um, on the script So this will tell the linker to keep the start underscore entry at the very first. So let's see, underscore start, okay. Uh, start underscore entry. Perfect. So now, so the start underscore entry are, are the entry point is at the very first of the flash. This is very, very important because 
right after the flash boot if there is any bad code here and uh, which is not recoverable then you, you might pick up over okay so now so when you use open ocd uh, you can also flash and load the code while uh, running the uh, with in the config and you can exit right after loading the code but uh, in this config what I'm using I'm just erasing the flash sector um, and then making it ready so that uh, GDB can load the code into the flash so in the flash if you if I now load the code, you can see that that ELF will be loaded from this uh, memory address. This is the flash start address. And this would succeed only when you have a proper flash driver configured into OpenOCD. Okay. Now, if I continue here, again, you should be able to see the blue LED blinking on the board. You can see on the screen. The only difference between the previous one where we ran from the RAM and this flash is that I'm just gonna stop this GDB session and quit and close the open OCD debug session. Now, if I reset, still you will be able to see the right after the reset, the blue LED would blink because this is uh, the whatever the code we program that's in the flash now and uh, it's part of the so right after the reset it will boot from the flash okay so thank you and uh, see you in the next session